Good morning, guys. Why is the exposure so high? I think it's a little bit better. So, um, just woke up going out to take Dorian out for a walk. Um, my hair is an absolute mess. And could you believe that I actually slept with this in my hair? And it wasn't uncomfortable. Anyway, going out for a walk. The sun is shining for once. I'm so happy. The reason I'm vlogging today is because I wanted to catch up with you guys. Tell you what I'm up to. What I'm gonna be doing. Um, so it's gonna be a homey vlog. Because I'll be getting ready for something. And behind me on the chair you can see a pile of clothing. Because I've been doing a wardrobe declutter um, and selling some of my things that I don't wear anymore. So this Zara home bag is full of clothing that I'm selling. Um, this is what's been sold so far. Well, that's not everything actually, because last night um, you guys purchased some accessories. So anyway, um, yeah, for once it's a beautiful day. So let's go out and then I'll go have my breakfast. Baby, he's already waiting to go out. Sorry. <laughs> let's take some poop bags. Does your dog do the same thing? So Doran always always poops twice and never in the same place I, and that's why i always need two bags so random information but super annoying my earphones for sure oh this is um two of these jackets are from akmoa vintage i'm just keeping them in my wardrobe but yeah i've been posting more stuff on akmoa and Get this jacket. This is a very um, sort of 70s looking jacket. Or it actually makes me think of Greece. But it's like a dark chocolate brown color. And then this is a leather like um, trench coat. Both super gorgeous. You can find them on my more Instagram. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm gonna wear. I presume that in many ways this vlog will feel like deja vu to you guys because this is my daily routine. This is what I do. I'm gonna um, wash Dorian's paws, give him a half bath because his belly is dirty as well, but I'm not gonna bathe all of him. <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna make the exact same breakfast. Now I'm gonna feed Dorian and then um, cook my red rice because it takes half an hour to cook so I'll be able to chat to you guys in the meantime. We've got some chicken filet for him and uh, I'm gonna mix it in with some dry puppy food. People always tend to have opinions when it comes to raising kids or pets so whatever i feed my dog will be judged no matter what <laughs> so yeah he eats everything <laughs> look at him now so cute taking it and then i always tie his ears like so <laughs> food for me. As I said, I'm gonna make the same breakfast that I showed you guys uh, how to make. Um, red rice with caramelized bananas and blueberries. I also need a sieve um, to wash it and my favorite mug. These are my two favorite mugs I love to have my coffee from. By the way, my house is never ever this quiet. I always listen to music with Alexa, but because of copyright reasons, I obviously can't. Oh, hello Alexa. <laughs> Tell us a joke. Where do elephants go to study painting? Tuscany. 
Lol. <laughs> Can you see the rain in the background? I cook my rice in almond milk. I don't have much left actually. Hopefully it will be enough. So for one glass of rice, you need two glasses of almond milk. And then a little bit for the, you know, for serving. Okay, gonna put the lid on and leave my rice to cook for 30 minutes. So I had my dinner um, all packed up, ready to go pick up Linda. Um, but I wanted to come on here to chat real quick with you guys about something that I get asked a lot in pretty much every single video I post and that is where is my cat Louis? Ta -da! So I'm gonna answer it here, although I did answer on my um, Q&A on Instagram that I did, but I know that not everyone follows me on Instagram. So I'm gonna answer here and hopefully it will clear things up for you guys. My cat is back to his original home. Um, Louis lived in my parents house all his life so when i moved to my apartment i brought him here and he lived in my apartment i think about five months and it took him about a month to adapt to the change to get used to my apartment but he wasn't very happy here he was still very scared of the sounds and things the city life uh, it's not as quiet as in the countryside he wasn't too happy living here and when I got Dorian, uh, their cat-friendly dogs, Spaniels, I thought they would get along. Dorian is obviously super friendly. He loves other animals, cats and dogs, but he wants to play. And Louis is such a skittish cat, he, he doesn't want to play. So he went into hiding back under his sofa. So it, it was a miserable life for him, basically. So I brought him back to where he belongs, to my family home, where he has lots of space to roam around. He has my entire room for his own. My parents are obviously there, so he's so relaxed. He lays on his back, which is a sign that he's comfortable and happy. And um, every time I go back home, I obviously go with Dorian. So they're kind of getting used to each other. Like Louis can tolerate. He doesn't always run away from him. Dorian would try to play and sniff Louis. Um, if he gets too close, Louis will smack him uh, with his paw. But yeah, like he knows that dog is part of the family now. A lot of people actually told me this, that cats get attached to the place not to people and um i feel like this is so true with louis he he's not very attached to me he doesn't care about me if like if i call him he will not come to me he's a very independent cat so he is very attached to our family home and i just don't want him to live here with me miserably For now louis is at my parents house and thank you for asking he's very well and very happy for some reason i get a lot of hate for that i don't know where it's coming from um people are leaving very mean comments saying i ditched my cat which is so wrong and so untrue um he's always lived there and i didn't abandon him yeah that's that that's where Lily is and now i gotta go alexa set the timer for 30 minutes 30 minutes Guys, I want to show you my current guilty pleasure. It's the golden minis. This is not an ad. I wish it were. Please sponsor me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is my current addiction. Uh, actually, Aux is the one who reminded me of these. She was eating cinnamonies and she's like, I can't stop. And I was like, oh my god, I now want them too. And I used to eat cinnamonies all the time as a kid, but I found this version, golden minis, which didn't exist growing up, I don't think. And you, you know, once you open the box, you can't stop. I'm gonna show you what they look like. So they're basically um, cinnamon cereal, but because. Wait a sec, my rice spilled out. I forgot to set it on low heat. 
Um, so anyway, because they're golden, they're covered in something in golden syrup or honey. I don't know. So they're not, you know, like your usual cinnamonies are quite fluffy, but these are, you know, golden. And they're, I don't know, they're so sweet and crunchy and cinnamony. And I can just eat them on their own. But yeah, so when I'm lazy to do something nice for breakfast, I'll have a bowl of these. Or actually any time of the day, like when I'm craving something or like for dinner even. And I know they're probably full of sugar and really not good for you, but this is my guilty pleasure. I love them. So just a little, I don't know, recommendation, I guess. Try them, they're yummy. I feel like I haven't mentioned this jumper. The color is everything. I love it so much. So I got it recently at Bershka. I told you guys that I don't really shop anymore. Well, very, very occasionally. When I shop from fast fashion brands, I only buy things that I know I will wear a lot. Like I don't, I tend not to buy trend items anymore like I used to in the past. So I recently got these two from no, the jumper is Bershka and the joggers are H&M men uh, from the men's section and they're fleecy on the inside. So they're so warm and soft and just super snuggly. I got them in size small and then yeah, this jumper, they have it in lots of uh, other colors like nude, this gorgeous baby blue, black, I think, and it has these tiny little rips. Just such a yummy Italian pistacchio gelato color, right? <laughs> so yeah, this has been my lounging around the house outfit and uh, because I work from home, this is pretty much what I always look like. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I think it's done now. Oh yes. Just put some coconut oil in my pan. I don't need to show this to you again, right? Because I did a proper tutorial. Oh, 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 I also want to show you guys one other thing, which I got sent recently. It's from a brand called Identity. Get it? Identity. And uh, it's a t-shirt that says this is my home this is an outline of lithuania and it's just so cute i got it in men's size large and it's like a mini dress on me so i can wear it on its own this is something that um i will wear around the house not for going out in but it's just so cute you can sleep in it you can chill at home in it and i also like to wear it with like um little white uh, biker shorts let me put you guys somewhere here on my sofa again and do a little catch up because something super exciting is coming up tonight um, i didn't tell you i only mentioned it on my instagram profile bio but who reads it right so you wouldn't know but i'm going to copenhagen mm i'm so excited it's only for one day but still um so so thrilled about it um it's actually olympus who are taking me to copenhagen to present their new pen edition camera um the cameras look so beautiful they are absolutely stunning i'm gonna obviously show you the camera in a vlog because i'm gonna vlog the whole trip and Hopefully I will be able to start vlogging on the new camera already. I'm leaving tonight at 2 a.m. So it's technically gonna be tomorrow. Um, flying from Konas. And then uh, I'll get there to my hotel. We'll have breakfast. And then, yeah, I think we'll meet everyone, get introduced to the camera. Then we'll have a little bit of free time. I think we'll have around three to four hours free in Copenhagen. So I'm gonna meet my friend Gabriela. She's moving to Nice next week. So it's just the perfect timing. How crazy is that? That I was in Copenhagen last year on the exact same day, 
20th of November. It just blows my mind. One year later, I return and last year it was all Christmassy, all in fairy lights. So I think Copenhagen will be Christmassy this year <laughs> again. And then, yeah, I will return the next day. So I'll spend literally 24 hours in Copenhagen. And of course, I'll have a beautiful new camera for vlogging. I'm now vlogging on my Canon. Um, so this leads me to another question. Would you guys, it's probably a rhetorical question. <laughs> would you guys like me to do Vlogmas this year? I'm sure you would because, you know, judging from the comments and messages I get pretty much every single day, I get DMs on Instagram from you guys asking if I will do Vlogmas this year because you cannot wait. So my question is, okay, if I'm doing Vlogmas, I don't want to vlog every day because my life is not that interesting to share something every day. This is pretty much my daily routine. Like I do the same things. Um, you know, my home is my office. I don't do anything too exciting. That's why the content can be a little mundane and redundant. Um, maybe I can share something like cooking to make the vlogs more interesting. So yeah, anyway, um, rambling. My question is, do I vlog every second day or do I upload weekly vlogs? So that would be... I think four weekly vlogs throughout Vlogmas or uh, 12 vlogs if I were to do them every second day. So let me know about it. Um, and yeah, also if I'm doing Vlogmas, what would you guys like to see more of? Like cooking, I think can be interesting because um, I personally enjoy that too. Maybe outfits of the day. I just said I don't go out that often and I live in my sweats but yeah <laughs> I can do a little styling for you guys if you would like um or yeah maybe just like little random chats on certain topics I could do that uh, maybe you would like me to share my the music I'm loving or movies or tv series or books or something so let me know that um yeah okay vlogmas question out of the way um I then wanted to show you this, a new handbag that I received, I think maybe a month ago. Um, and so yeah, I've been using it ever since because I started working out. So I go to the gym now. So yeah, at the gym, I just, I want to work out to feel good, to feel healthy and strong and um, just to tone up because I'm not like my body's not firm at all. Like I have this wobbly um, arm fat will never have a flat tummy. I guarantee it because I love food and ice cream and things like that too much. But yeah, I just want to feel healthy, you know, not necessarily to lose weight. That's not my goal, but just to feel toned up and healthy and good about myself because what you know, the hardest thing is going to the gym, like forcing yourself, motivating yourself to go. But then once you're there, you you know, it's, it's fun to work out. And after you feel so good, you know, when endorphins get released, you have that happy feeling after workout. And you never, I mean, you never ever feel bad after a workout, right? So what's to lose? So now I have um, an annual membership so I need to go. The reason I'm talking about gym is because I use it as my gym bag. I know it's a very fancy, <laughs> ridiculous gym bag because it, it isn't a gym bag, but it's, it's so beautiful. Um, and it fits all my gym things. So that's why I'm carrying it. But it's a great um, like office bag if you carry uh, lots of stuff to work or I guess maybe for a baby bag it's too small but like travel bag a little uh, can be a little weekender bag it's by a brand called Senrev and they have kindly sent me it's such a stunning bag I chose I think it's doctor's bag I think that's what it's called um, and I chose it in this beautiful taupe color 
it's sort of like grayish, a mixture of gray and beige. And it's so well made. Like the quality is incredible. It is, I mean, it is a very, very pricey bag. So I'm not surprised that the quality is amazing. Like all the stitching, it's so beautifully finished. It's gorgeous. So, uh, okay, let me show you. This is the back of the bag. It has this little flap where you can put the, your you know, like papers or receipts or things like that. And then in the front, it also has a pocket like this. This is how you close it. So, okay, this is the front pocket. And then you have this little um, belt that you pull through here. And then you put this in and this is how you secure the bag. So people won't be able to get into it that easily. Uh, but you know, I, as it is a gym bag for me, I just, I just carry it like that loose. And I really like this sort of undone look. Oh, and the straps are good for putting the bag on the shoulder. So you can carry it like this or you can carry it as a top handle bag. It has a zipper all the way through. I love that the zipper goes quite low and it's a very good quality sturdy zip. So I don't even know what's inside. Um, okay, inside we have my gym sneakers, my little towel, a deodorant, and my water bottle. And that's it. Um, so this is the inside of the bag. It's baby blue. How beautiful is that? So it has one big pocket here, then two smaller pockets next to it. And then on the other side, I don't know if you guys can see, it has a zip, zip up pocket. And then again, oh, actually three other pockets here so it's perfect for keeping everything very neat and organized and then it has this little strap with a um, clasp so you can attach your keys to it i just love the contrast of taupe and baby blue so yeah i've been loving this bag um it's very comfortable um as i said it fits a ton of stuff i tried fitting my laptop i have macbook pro 13 inch I believe yeah I'm pretty sure it's 13 inch so I cannot zip it up if I put it in like that but if I put it diagonally I can of course it's perfect to carry an iPad in um, and yeah check it out if you're looking for a new sort of hold all bag that fits a lot of stuff um, because it's beautiful. So that's it. Um, my rice is still not done. <laughs> I'm so hungry already. Mm. Actually today I need to do my nails. So I've been doing my nails on my own. This is the exact same polish that my nail um, technician uses. It's Victoria Vin velvet agate and it's my favorite nail polish of all time so i just purchased the polish and i'm using my mom's led light and um, i also purchased base and top coats from victoria vin and my mom has a primer that i use so yeah i do it at home on my own it turns out good it's not as perfect obviously as my nail lady does she makes them look absolutely perfect and the cuticles look gorgeous but sometimes to save time um i like to do it on my own you know at the comfort of my own home watching tv series i'm gonna do them the same way on my own tonight before leaving so yes that's it so far i'm gonna go make my food while I'm frying my banana, I'm gonna make my coffee. Oh, 30 minute mark. <laughs> Thanks, Alexa. So this is yellow loch. It's very soft and I like it for the mornings. Talking about loch coffee. 
I have an amazing surprise for you guys. Three of you guys will be able to win all of these boxes of Loch coffee. How incredible is that? So what you will get is three boxes of Black Intensity 11, Ristretto uh, coffee, then three purple, number eight Profondo coffee, one red and one box of yellow. These are my personal favorites, just so you know and one intensity nine forza so yeah nine boxes of coffee in total and three winners so all you have to do to win is go to my instagram uh, follow me and loch and i will announce the giveaway on there um i'll post a picture with loch giveaway so you'll see um but yeah, they are suitable for Nespresso machine. So if you have a Nespresso machine, you can use these capsules. Um, and yeah, keep your eyes peeled. I will also post Instagram story once the giveaway is open and you can enter. And you will get lots of amazing coffee. These blueberries are everything. Oh my God, look at the size of them. I need to wash them first now. Look how massive. Yum. Mm -hmm. So I've been stuck at my computer doing emails and um, I posted some new items on Akmoa Vintage. Um, funny thing is I have to use my old iPhone uh, because it's logged into Akmoa and I cannot for the life of me add another account on my Instagram on my new phone. Like I'm only able to access my personal Instagram. That's why I have to keep this old phone. And I don't know, that's so annoying to have two phones, but that's the only way I can manage Akma. Oh my God, he's so cute. And I also started packing, well, sort of. I just got my luggage out. Um, and my makeup bags out uh, but it's only for a day so I will try not to bring too much stuff but knowing me it's gonna be full full luggage I wanted to show you this this is my first advent calendar of the year it's by L'Occitane actually haven't had a look inside yet so let's see oh it smells so good I can smell the products from here. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. I think they will be all mini products. L'Occitane is doing this super nice thing um, where influencers in Lithuania have to gift each other uh, their advent calendars. So I was gifted this by Camille. Here's her Instagram handle. Uh, she's a friend of mine and when we met she said I have a present for you and she gifted me this calendar. She filmed my reaction and um, so now I have to pass it on to someone else. Not this exact one but I have to choose an influencer, a friend of mine. So I chose Simona Burbaita and uh, I told her because I'm not in Vilnius where she lives. I said you have to go to Luxtan shop and there's a present waiting for you from me um so she will get an advent calendar and then she has to pass it on to someone else um but yeah i think that's so sweet and i cannot wait for december to start opening it so anyway um i'm gonna start packing my beauty products do you guys also do this i have this little pouch with a ton of different medicine and it's always in my luggage. So when I'm traveling, it's always there. I don't touch it. Uh, okay, and I have zero clue as to what I should wear <laughs> to an event. So I'll have to look through all my clothing and decide. I played the blue. While I waited While I waited For a choose For a 
Alexa, stop. I'm heating myself some dinner. This is what I cooked yesterday actually. So I made two portions. <laughs> it's really hard to cook for one person. Um, basically I just used some rice noodles, um, some chicken filet that I roasted together with uh, champignons, a chili, uh, spring onion, salt and pepper and then some cream and that's it it's so simple um but very yummy so i'm gonna have the rest of it right now and then i will go pick up linda she's at a cafe doing homework with her friend um we'll go back to hers i'm gonna drop her home uh then do my manicure i just finished packing so now i'm super hungry i'm taking more clothing than i know i will need but at least i'll have some options oh and i have to fit an extra pair of shoes in here uh, and then this camera this is going into my handbag so these are my nails i told you i'll do my nails tonight which i did uh watching uh, second season of the end of the fucking world um, together with Linda so yeah I'm gonna get dressed do my hair really quickly and off I go hope you enjoy this vlog and see you soon bye